I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to find the minimum distance from a point to the curve. The question here is find the minimum distance of the point P03 from the graph of y equals to 6 minus x squared. So 6 minus x squared is a parabola which is kind of inverted. So let me sketch one here so that we understand what the question is. right? So it is kind of a parabola like this where the value 6 is the y-intercept. So if I write 0 for x, I get 6 and it's inverted. And of course, these points will be square root of minus 6 and plus 6. Okay. We are given a point 0, 3. So 0, x value, 3, somewhere midway, right? So that is 0, 3. So that is the point P given to us. It is at 3. Now I say find the minimum distance of point P from the graph. Now, minimal distance will make kind of it normal to the graph, right? So, so it could be somewhere kind of like this, right? But we don't know what this is. And it could be on either side. Do you see that? It could be on either side. So it will be basically normal to the graph. Now, since we don't know what this point is, first thing is we need to find the point itself. Let us say that point is x, y on the graph, right? So if I say point is x, y, since the equation is y equals to x minus x square, let me call this point as q. So we, are, we can say point q will be equal to, the coordinates will be, if x is my x coordinate, y coordinate will be 6 minus x square. Is that okay? 6 minus x square will be my y coordinate. And we have a point p, which is 0, 3. The idea is to find the distance between p and q. So we can use the distance formula. So distance between p and q will be square root of x2 minus x1 plus, I mean square of that, plus y2 minus y1. Let's use this as the second point. So we have x minus 0, that is x square, plus uh, that is a y value, 6 minus x square minus 3, right? Whole square. So that is my. So that is the distance. Now, since we need to minimize the distance, even distance square minimized will give you minimum distance, right? So the idea is we could actually square both sides, right? And get new function. We call this as f of x. And we'll minimize this particular function, which gives us x square plus. It helps in, you know, simplifying the calculations. I hope you appreciate the idea. Minimizing square of the distance. So we don't deal with a complicated derivative. Let us expand this part, uh, which is, uh, you can first simplify this. So it is 6 minus x square minus 3. So it could be written as 3 minus x square, right? So 3 minus x square whole square, right? So that is what uh, your second factor is. Now let us find derivative of this function. So minimum, we have to see a few things. That is, the derivative will give us the critical points. So let's find derivative of this. Derivative is 2 times x, right? Plus 2 times all this. That means 2 times 3 minus x squared times derivative of inside function, which is minus 2x. Is that okay? So that is the derivative. Now, next step is we need to find the minimum. So we'll find critical points. To find critical point, we'll equate derivative to 0. Well, it cannot be undefined. It is defined all throughout. So the only possible value, critical value or number will be when the derivative is 0. So let's equate to 0, solve the equation. So we have 2x and here let's open this bracket. So minus 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. So we'll multiply by minus 4, all the terms inside. So it gives us minus 12x minus minus becomes plus and gives us 4x to the power of 3, right? So, okay, so x cubed. So, okay, so this is minus, minus 4x cubed. Okay, so that becomes our equation. Now we can factor out 2, so we get 0 equals to 2x, let's rearrange and factor. So 2x is common factor, 
So I'm writing this first now. So I get here, if I take out 2x, I get 2x square. And 2x gives me 1. We'll, we'll combine these two terms, right? So that is minus, uh, minus 10. So it gives me 5, right? So that gives me 5. Okay. So I just combined these two. 2 minus 12 is minus 10. So minus 10x, I'm taking 2, so I get minus 5. That's fine. So that gives us solution. x could be equal to 0 or x is equals to, in this case, uh, 5 over 2 square root with plus and minus. So we can write square root 2.5. Is it okay? So that is, these are the possible solutions. So we get three critical points uh, in our situation. Right? Now let's find out what is the distance for these three critical points right and then we'll see which one is the minimum distance right so so we'll substitute these values in in the equation itself to find which is the minimum distance right so distance d pq is equal to square root of x square if i write x equals to 0 then it'll be 0 right minus uh, 6 minus 3 uh, x is 0. So we have 6 minus 3, 3, 3 squared is 9, right? So plus 9, which is equals to 3. So this is 3 units. If I use 2.5, so this is for x equals to 0. If I use 2.5 square root, then the distance dpq, it will be equals to, we are substituting this square root 2.5 value here for x. So that gives you square of 2.5, whether it is positive or negative, will be positive 2.5 right so it is 2.5 plus now if i write 2.5 square so i got 2.5 uh, here also so 3 minus 2.5 will give me because that is 3 3 minus 2.5 will 0 0.5 and this is for x equals to plus or minus square root of 2.5 is it okay so that gives us a value which is approximately square root of 3, right? So square root of 3, which is approximately 1.732, right? As you can very clearly see, this distance is minimum, right? So that gives you the minimum distance. So this is your minimum distance. And that will turn out to be the maximum distance, right? Okay, that's a different story. Those are the two critical points. Okay. So, so that is the minimum distance for the given graph and this is the process of doing it. Now it is important to, you know, uh, there are different ways of really checking whether this is minimum or not. One of the ways is to find the second derivative and the other way is to analyze the derivative itself. So what you can do is you can analyze the derivative. You have two particular values, 0 and, uh, and 2.5 which is plus and minus rather than 3 right so what you can do is let us say this is 0 this is 2.5 square root positive this is negative 2.5 now in in these cases take a test point on each side right so one could be a test point in each side right since square root 2 uh, will be 1.5 so more than one correct so plus or minus one could be good points to take so if this is we are analyzing the derivative for f dash x we are analyzing the derivative for f dash x that means the rate of change for f dash x at these points so if that was the equation if i write zero uh, we get zero so those are the critical points if i write minus one which is on left side of zero so if I write minus 1, this term becomes negative. And here, what we have is 2 minus 5, which is also negative, right? So this is this is negative for us, minus 1, right? Now, if I write 1, if I write 1 here, in that case, in that case, this is positive. This is negative. Sorry, this is positive. I'm sorry. If I write minus 1, that means to say f dash of minus 1 will be equals to let me substitute so we have 2 times minus 1 times uh, that will be 2 times minus 1 square minus 5 so we get minus and minus we get a positive value is that okay 
if I write f dash at 1, then this will be 2, and this will be 2 minus 5, right? which is negative. right? This is negative. We don't have to calculate the value. right? And if I take a value, which is kind of, let us say 3 here. okay? So if I write 3 here, let us say f dash at 3. 3 will be 6, will be positive here, 6. And 3 square, so 9 times 2, 18 minus 5 which is positive, right? So that really shows that the graph is positive on this side, rate of change, and this side is negative, and then again it is positive. So from here, we know that is the minimum point, right? So we have minimum at plus 2.5. If we analyze on this side, we'll find minimum here also, right? So we have minimum at plus 2.5 or minus 2.5, and we have calculated the distance which is 1.732. In case the question is to find the point, then you can always substitute square root of 2.5 in the value of x and find y. So we can do that like this, y equals to 6 minus uh, square of, you could write plus and minus, 2.5 whole square, right? So that will be 2.5, 6 minus 2.5, 6 minus 2.5 will give you 3.5 as your y value. So the point here will be, your point Q will indeed be uh, plus minus square root of 2.5, y value being 3.5. But the question was to find minimum distance, so minimum distance is is equals to approximately 1.732 units, right? Units. So that is how such questions should be solved. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Thank you and all the best.